My name is Ben Goldsworthy and I'm the TEDS Product Development Manager. One of my key priorities is to ensure that we're delivering continuous improvements to the TED software. We receive feedback from TED users on a daily basis and all the comments we get, we read and we carefully consider them uh, within the development team to decide how we're going to continually develop and improve TEDS. Regular updates are then released throughout the year and may include new calculations, improvements to existing calculations, and of course, updates in line with changes to the design codes. I'm now gonna summarize just some of those improvements that we've released over the last few months. So firstly, our most recent December update included a completely new version of our concrete industrial ground floor slab design calculation, which is used extensively in the UK market. This calculation has been updated in accordance with the fourth edition of TR34. It includes enhancements for different reinforcement types, as well as improved load transfer options. Also, an optional summary table can now be included in the output which is similar to the preview results you typically see in the user interface of all TED's calculations. These summary tables are now standard for our new calculations and are a direct response to the sort of feedback we've got from the user base who wanted to see uh, summary tables in the output. In October, we released an updated version of our Eurocode masonry wall panel design calculation, which included the option to design walls using Werner Beiger's range of porotherm monolithic blocks. The calculation also now includes the option to use piers when designing with porotherm blocks. Back in September, we released a completely new version of our steel sheet piling design calculation. This calculation has been completely rewritten and can now be used in accordance with the Eurocode, British standards, and the US Army Corps of Engineers guidance. It can also be used in any other region because it allows you to define load combinations and partial factors uh, in SI or in US units. In September, we also included an improved version of our steel member analysis and design calculations for all three codes, Eurocodes, USA, and Australian. The user interface has been significantly improved to allow members to be designed more quickly, more efficiently. The overall user experience has been improved. The output options have also been simplified and a summary table can also now be included in this calculation as well. In June, we released a new Eurico calculation for designing a straight flight of stairs in reinforced concrete. This calculation has been subsequently updated later in the year to not only include the national axes for the UK, Ireland, Singapore, and Malaysia, but it also now includes Finland, Norway, and Sweden. For all our Eurico calculations, we also include the option to design in accordance with the recommended values, and this can sometimes make them useful in other countries throughout Europe. Also in June, we released a completely new feature for batch designing any TED's calculation. That could be one of the calculations in the existing library, or it could be a bespoke calculation that you've written yourself. You can try many different scenarios for a single design case, or you could be designing many different design cases in one go, in one batch process. It uses Excel because that's where users have told us they're keeping much of their design data and they want to be able to feed that data directly into TED's calculations. When you've completed your designs, you can of course send the calculation results to Microsoft Word in order to review the comprehensive TED's output that you'd normally see or to produce a final report. In order to help users batch design different calculations, we're also now adding more documentation to each of the calculations in the library, which provides information on the key input and output variables that that calculation is using. This will become standard as we develop new calculations, but we're also adding the information to existing calculations based on demand. So if you're wanting a specific calculation documented, let us know via the feedback command built into the software or why not post your request on the Tecla discussion forums.